should think very seriously about getting your vaccine. How the vaccine rollout is impacting senior living. As we've seen time and time again, the pandemic has made life tough for San Diego's senior community, forcing them to adapt to change and tirelessly wait for the vaccine. News 8's Teresa Sardina reports from St. Paul Senior Services in Bankers Hill and has more on how COVID-19 is impacting our senior population. I spoke with the CEO of St. Paul Senior Services. She says the company's top priorities are safety and keeping seniors connected. Our staff are the ones that are bringing in the virus. St. Paul's Senior Services in San Diego is currently vaccinating seniors and staff in all departments, assisted living, memory care, and independent living. Chief Executive Officer Ellen Schmieding says since September, a handful of senior residents tested positive for COVID-19. We have extreme measures at our front door to take temperatures, we have an electronic screening system. She says there have been many challenges during the pandemic for both staff and residents. Seniors coping with separation from families, limited visitors, and the uncertainty of the vaccine rollout. Schmieding now sees some relief. St. Paul's Senior Services is registered with CVS Pharmacy and has held seven clinics as of this week. We were among the first to, to receive the vaccine on December 30th. And we were kind of a guinea pig at that point with CBS. It was challenging, I'll be honest, but there was a feeling of celebration in the air. This is senior resident Eldon Thompson getting the COVID-19 vaccine at St. Paul's first clinic on December 30th. He says his experience reminds him of the polio outbreak. I was one of the first people to get the vaccine. So far, 70% of the company's staff has been vaccinated, receiving both doses. 90% of their seniors have have received the first dose. Now those 350 residents are waiting for their second shot. Since COVID-19 cases have increased, visitors are not allowed indoors and socially distanced outdoor visiting stations are set up. We just look for ways to keep that connection going. It's the most important thing. Schmieding says it's been a long time waiting to get these clinics set up and it took a lot of collaboration between families, seniors and staff to get them educated on the vaccine and its side effects. For more on the story, we'll have it at CBS8.com. Reporting at Bankers Hill, I'll send it back to you in the studio. Thanks, Teresa.